When the foundations are destroyed, what can a righteous person do? This is a question they're asking. We all ask ourselves the same question. Especially when we're going through these tough times. When you go through these tough times, you ask yourself, what can I do? Whether you are a Christian, whether you are a pagan, every person wonders, what can I do? Things happen to you when they are beyond your mind. You ask yourself, what can I do? Why do we ask ourselves these questions? Please put that pan down my microphone. And one of that is telling others the things that we can make us wonder about these questions. The one of that is asking is the foundations. Let me define a foundation. The Bible tells us about foundations in the foundation. There are, there are foundations, there also are foundations. Let me talk about the foundation. A foundation is one. The foundation, the Bible tells us, Paul said as a, the biggest builder, a smart one, he said that he put there a foundation. Every person, he said that every person, that foundation can build a home. Did you get it? This is one foundation that was put there, that was put there. And he says every person is allowed to build upon that foundation. That foundation is Jesus. Is Jesus. I sing a song. He said, I will, I will cover myself on the foundation. Everywhere else is sang. This is a song in the book. The song says, I will, I will cover myself on the foundation. This singer is why he sang a song. I, I do a lead on the work. That the word is Jesus. So Jesus is the word and his foundation. And then there is also another foundation attached to that. Paul wrote this in Ephesians. Chapter 2, verse 20. He said you are built on a foundation of disciples and prophets. And that foundation is the word of God. I was saying heaven and earth can disappear. There is one thing that will never disappear. It's the word of God. The word of God is foundation. It's a foundation we build on. And then on that particular foundation, Paul wrote to Timothy and said, He said the foundation of God, the strong foundation is still there. And he says these words, God knows So that foundation is Foundation. So let's talk about foundation. The Bible says he must say when the foundation 
the one for the new business story. Good fortune on you, sir. The one for the new business story. Job says this as a righteous. 
He says the righteous will hold, will comfort themselves. To be near this. They will, be, they will hold themselves to their ways. The way of salvation, the way of hope. The way of a uh, uh, hope of uh, everlasting life. Paul said this one and said, I don't want you to, 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 not to, feel, to know, to be sad about those who slept. He said, This is why we don't go into uh, that place because we don't, like, we don't have any faith in or hope in He said, because we have faith or we knew about this, that Jesus died and rose again. The same way we believe in this, we believe that those who are dead, they will rise like Jesus. Hallelujah. So the righteous, all they can do is hold their ways. So we're telling you to hold the We know it's not easy. We know it's sad. But hold still. I don't want to uh, go into a song for us. The song says, uh, be, be strong and be strong. Be strong and be strong. We uh, are and uh, we don't need all those stuff. One day we say bye to that. But today, what can we do as a white Since we haven't got to that place, the world of God says, hold still. You cannot let them. They can't let them. Let me talk about Job and I will end. In the book of Job 22, he said, even God, even though God took the things that, that I had, that I had, even though God had put me to pain, he was putting all these to God. There are two words that he shared that come my heart. And I want you to feel the same way. He said, I will keep my righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though he took away all these things. Even though I went through pain. Even though I don't have everything that I need. Job said, I will keep hold to my wife. I am confident. I continue. He said these words too. Even if himself kills me, I will die believing him. I am I'm sharing these words one more time. Be I'm telling this to follow me. Keep your, your own way. His own way of hope. Keep so and keep, uh, keep be confident in it. It's a way of hope. It's being confident. It's being to cover yourself. And remember the Psalms, uh, it's four. Verse 6. Blessed is the one who takes away the strength from you. Blessed is the one that has you as their strength. This is not the old strength. This is the strength we get from God that gives you to be, that, be strong. He said, Blessed are those that have the ways that go to Zion. Because even though they go through the valley of Pekka, the rain will cover it with blessings. We pray for a rain of blessings that pour in your heart this morning. A righteous can do 
One thing is to, to hold the skill on their own hair or their own way. The last. Paul said, we don't, don't focus on the things that are visible. So these are short for a while, they are short time. These foundations that can be destroyed, May God open our eyes to see beyond our beyond. To see the hope of blessing. The hope of life. The hope to see our people who are The book of Romans 8, verse 11. Paul told, uh, to the to the church of uh, uh, Roman. He, he, he said, if the Spirit of God that rose Christ is still in you, He will rise you the same way that you are. We have hope to rise up. That's what we, we, we as Christians build upon. Because our Jesus Christ was risen. Those, those who die in Him, He will rise them up. We separate for a short time, but we will rise up one more time. And it will be with people lost in that when we are still on earth. So be strong. Please be strong. I beg you, and the Holy Spirit may please you be strong. A righteous who holds still those who have their hands they will still receive more power. May God give us power this morning. Amen. Amen.